Go ahead. Um, I wonder if I could ask about uh, uh, Russia. Uh, General Danford uh, told Congress today that Russia is the greatest threat to U.S. national security. Uh, the, dwelling of the, the State Department shares that assessment. Well, what we've said all along and uh, continue to maintain is that you know uh, Russia certainly um, represents uh, significant security challenges uh, to not just uh, U.S. national interests, but to the national interests of our allies and partners uh, in Europe. And that's why we are taking that's why we are are taking uh, such um, such significant measures in the last couple of years, particularly, to uh, make sure we can reassure our partners in Europe, can reinforce our commitment to Article 5, um, and, uh, and to try to uh, work towards uh, a full implementation of the Minsk Agreement. Um, you may have seen Assistant Secretary Newland was uh, met, met with uh, Deputy Foreign Minister Karazin today. They talked about uh, Minsk and, and how to uh, better get the, the agreement actually implemented uh, both sides. And I think and you may have seen uh, the, the Russian side speak at this meeting that they, they thought it was productive, constructive, and, um, and the basis for further dialogue. Could you maybe elaborate on what he might have meant by threat to U.S. national security? I'm not going to speak for General Dunford. I think General Dunford uh, uh, is a seasoned American general. Hang on a second. I got you. I got you. I'll get to you. It, I'm not going to speak for uh, General Dunford. I mean, a, a seasoned American general uh, uh, who uh, is expected and is paid to offer his frank military assessment, and that's for him to speak to. Okay? Now you can go. Thank you. Thank you You're very just much. jumping out of your chair. Oh, God. So, um, within 24 hours, two top U.S. military officials call Russia the greatest threat to U.S. national security. Is that the official position of the U.S. government? I, I won't speak for the comments made by members of the but you know senior leaders the of the Defense Department. I think I've stated I stated very clearly. You know, nobody. I think everybody in the United States government shares the same sense of concern over the security challenges that Russia is representing, particularly on the European continent. They didn't call it a threat, a challenge. They said the greatest. Isn't it confusing that from this podium you say one thing and the top military officials say something else? I, I'm, I, I don't know how to answer but your you, question. But you don't seem to be saying that. Uh, you, you don't, uh, do you agree with them? I just told you what our, what our position here is, that we, we are mindful of the security challenges that Russia continues to pose on the European continent. Nobody's turning a blind. It? Nobody's turning a blind eye to that. Would I will let I will the let the Defense Department to speak the to this issue to the issue as they see it from their perspective. But what uh, they, is but the everybody in the department perspective? If you just let me finish, I Thank promise you, I'll get to you. Sure. Okay. If everybody in the United States government shares the same sense of concern about where Russia is headed, their aggressive actions, their violation of Ukrainian ter uh, uh, territory and sovereignty. Uh, and everybody wants to see Minsk implemented. That That is a solid position across the government. I won't speak to what other people outside this building, uh, their assessments. That's They get paid to offer those assessments, and it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment one way or the other. We all in the United States government share the same sense of concern about where Russia is heading and what they've done over the last couple of years. But you don't just speak for just for this building, but for the foreign policy of the of the of the U the United States, right? So, but I don't can I don't speak for Defense Department equities and and what Defense Department leaders but might be saying. But do you agree with their position, with their statement I that think Russia is agree. the greatest? I'll say it one do more time. Do you agree with that? I'll say it one more time. I think we all agree that and share the same sense threat. of concern about the security challenges that Russia represents but on the continent. But you do not agree that it is the greatest threat to U.S. national security? I've answered the question. No, no, you have not. Yes, sir. Is it, is it yes, the sir. greatest threat to U.S. national I security? I wanted to go to Malaysia.